What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be playing with two new lipsticks from La Neige. These are the brand new two-tone lipsticks. So these are the ones that are supposed to give you an ombre effect that is foolproof. Well hot damn if this works then I'm going to be a huge fan and if it doesn't well I'm still going to struggle with ombre. <laughs> Anyways if you guys want to find out what I think about these lipsticks make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other zaniness that might be happening in these videos. <laughs> Alright guys so I've got these two new lipsticks here from La Neige. La Neige is a Korean brand that I am a huge huge fan of. Um, I think Amore Pacific probably comes first then I'd say Innisfree because both of them usually harvest their ingredients from Juju Island. Uh, in Korea um, and then I would say Laneige is probably my third favorite brand from Korea uh, there's so many more but I'll stick with those top three for now <laughs> anyways they came out with these cool new lipsticks they're two-tone lipsticks and they're supposed to mimic the effect of an ombre lip with just one swipe and I was so fascinated when I saw these pop onto Sephora's website. I'm like, I think I've got to pick these up. Um, I didn't want to buy all of the shades because I don't think everything would have been really complimentary on my skin tone, but I did pick up two shades. Um, one is in, what is this, Cashmere Nude? And the other one is in Magenta Muse. And first of all, I love the holographic packaging. I think it is so cute. And then when you take the lipsticks out, they come in these almost little rectangular tubes. And they do have a little lever on the side that you just sort of pull down to push the lipstick up. And then you push the lever up to put the lipstick down. It is a really cool idea, but I still want to just twist a little lipstick up. So I constantly fight that battle and fight the urge to twist. Instead, I just need to pull down and pull up. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I did play around with Cashmere Nude a little bit. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today. Um, I have been wearing this lipstick for a few days now and I really do like it. I love the color. I love the way it just easily swipes onto your lips, but I will say you need to reapply frequently because this does shift a lot. I will also recommend that you exfoliate before you use this product because it will accentuate any dry patches that you have on your lips. I find that this product does settle into the fine lines of your lips as well so that's just something else to be weary of. So let me show you what this looks like. You pop off the cap and I see I went to go twist again <laughs> you have to push down on this and the product will pop up and it is in this sort of rectangular shape which is a little bit awkward to work with now obviously I don't have the biggest of lips so this is definitely a little bit challenging and I've got to play around with it a little bit the way you're supposed to apply this lipstick is with the lighter color on the outside and the darker color on the inside so it's got that nice ombre effect from the inside out I'll swatch this on the back of my hand for you so you can see what that looks like. Um, it does blend really, really nicely when you swipe it like this. It is a little bit different when you do apply it to your lips. So you can probably see that there is a little bit of that coral color sort of peeking through the inner part of my mouth and the rest is very, very nude. And then afterwards, I took the lighter sort of coral color and I just went into the inner part of my lips and I dabbed the color on just to make it pop a little bit more. This does not dry down to a matte. I don't think it even dries down to a semi-matte like the website says. I really like the finish of this lipstick and it is very comfortable to wear throughout the day. I also have Magenta Muse. So this is the darker color. This has a dark magenta and it almost has sort of a bright pink as well. I haven't swatched this yet so this is the first time I'll be swatching it. Oh. It's so pretty. That color is really, really beautiful. Um, I think it is a little too bright for me in particular, but I am going to apply it to my lips right now. So I'm just gonna take off the current lipstick I have and then put this on. It's always so hard to take off and switch lipsticks, eh? I always feel like I'm taking foundation off. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, I did. One second, please. 
Okay, so I'm gonna scoot you in a little bit more. You can see me apply this. I'm gonna apply this lipstick with the slant facing down for my lower lip, and then I'm gonna reverse it to apply it to my top lip. So here we go. Ooh, that is definitely a bright color. <laughs> So you can see there that it was mostly the really light pink that ended up applying and not so much the darker color. So I am going to go in there and just work the product a little bit more. I will say one of my biggest critiques with this is that the rectangular applicator makes it a little challenging to work with. I would have preferred this to be circular just like all other bullets. I actually don't feel like this one did much of an ombre. I think it just feels like it's super bright pink, or maybe that's just me and the way I see this really, really bright color, but it is beautiful. I think this would look fantastic in the summertime. It's not as awful as I thought it would look on my skin tone, um, but I think a lot of people with maybe deeper skin tones will appreciate this color a lot more. Maybe even those who are fair skinned who really love a bold pink lip would love this color too. Just like the other shade, the Cashmere Nude, I think this is wearing very beautifully. It feels hydrating and moisturizing on my lips, doesn't feel dry at all, but I am noticing that this one too is setting into my fine lines. Overall, I think these lipsticks are okay. I think they are a little more gimmicky than anything else. Um, like I said to you, I would have preferred that these be in a circular sort of bullet shape rather than this rectangular shape here. I think it just makes it a little bit more difficult to work with. You do have to play with the product just a little bit to get that ombre effect, especially if you have thinner lips. I think if you do have more voluminous lips, uh, unlike myself, <laughs> you could apply this a lot more easily and probably with less finessing. If you have been experimenting with the ombre effect lip and you're having a hard time doing it on your own, I think these lipsticks do make it a little bit easier for you, but you still have to play around with it. On Sephora Canada, these lipsticks do retail for $35, so they are on the pricey side. Um, these are definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, truthfully, I would probably recommend any other lipstick out there that is a lot less expensive than $35 because that is a lot of money. But then again, when you think about it, you are getting two colors in one little lipstick tube. So. Eh, you split the difference? Anyhow, that's just my two cents. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section if you have used any of these lipsticks before or if you've been experimenting with the ombre effect or just generally if you've been using any Laneige products or any Korean beauty products. I'm always interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you are having an amazing day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye guys.